Hey there, it's Beth from Rock Your Notebook, and I'm up showing you a watercolor mixed media traveler's notebook, an A5 sized. I'm using the beautiful elements from Calico Collage's Far East kit, and um, I'm using my Koi watercolors. I don't know, I just felt like using them, and uh, they look fantastic and still work great. They're super old now, they're about Oh gosh, like two years old now, and I still haven't used this whole um, palette up yet. But anyways, I am going and painting the front cover of my notebook, and you can see that I'm not caring that the watercolor is leaking to the other pages because I just think that adds more character to my notebook as I go through it and journal. I'm doing the front and the back. And I have no plan of action. I just cut out some elements from the kit from Calico Collage and adding color. After that, we're kind of just going to see where this whole project takes me. Um, I really, really love using my mop brush for things like this because the whole point is to just get a lot of color on here and a lot of water and get the colors um, moving and have that free flowing effect that you can only get with watercolors. So you can see here that I went with like a really earthy color of the blues and the greens and I was super happy with the way this turned out. Um, I just blue and green. I mean, blue is my favorite color and green goes well with blue. I don't know what I was thinking. Truly, I don't. Um, but I'm just going here and I'm drying it and the heat tool that I use is super powerful. So this didn't take very long to dry. And I normally cut this part of my video out, but because it didn't take very long to dry, I just left it on and figured I could chat with you some more about what I've got going on. This video is fairly old, so it's taking me a minute to remember what I was doing here and what my plan of action was. So we're looking at it together, basically. <laughs> I grabbed some washi tape, and this washi tape I love. It's from Alta New. It's huge. And notice that where I wanted to stick it down was not fully dry, so I made sure that I got that dry and then I have this other washi tape that's also from Alta New and I'm sticking that down just so I have kind of like a place for my elements to go. And the left side of my notebook is, what do you call it? The back and the right side of my notebook is the front. So I'm just taking this little pencil and I'm marking like kind of like my butterfly is traveling from the flower. I don't know. I just had fun. That's the whole point when you're creating art and you're just playing around in your traveler's notebooks. Um, you just have fun with your products and your elements and you go for it. So I stuck that flower down uh, and then I'm sticking the butterfly down with some Fabri-Tac glue, which happens to be my absolute favorite, favorite glue for collaging and stuff like this. And uh, I don't know what I'm doing next. I think I'm looking for some embossing powder and a stamp set to stamp an element on here, but I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. Yep. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> so the embossing powder that I'm going to use on here is also from Alta New, and I love it. I used my Versamark ink that's got that uh, sticky residue so that your embossing powder sticks to it. And then my front and back cover of this notebook is done. Again, I used the Calico Collage Far East kit. Um as well as the wine kit and I will leave a link to both of those down below. All right that's pretty much it for me. I'm just gonna hit that with the heat gun and call this done. Thanks for watching. Bye!